There we go. Got it. <laughs> Yay. I haven't had a ton of time of late to really promote this. So I've, we had some emails back, so we'll see who, who arrives. But you, it's you and me, so that's awesome. Woohoo! Yay. Could just be us. Who knows? We'll see. Productivity at roadrunner.com. I love it. <laughs> so are you still working with Danielle as well? Um, we're still coaching together, but I've taken my business back to really working with B B2B. So I'm really very involved with that. And she's really gravitated more towards um, individual coaching or group coaching with women. Understood. So we just, you know, we got really crystallized. And my big thing is legacy building. Oh, wow. So, so many companies do not have any structures or standards and, and very little in writing. So, you know, the, their employees are wandering around trying to figure stuff out and they're always being shown that they're doing it wrong. <laughs> you know? so, so I've been uh, for 33 years creating structures, uh, partnering with companies and having them really get clear on what does good look like. Yes, yes. Absolutely. No, I'm with you for sure. Wow, that's awesome. And then um, remind me again which city you're based in? Uh, Santa Monica, California. Oh, so nice. It's um, today, I don't mean to tease you, but today it's 80 degrees here. I'm so glad for you. <laughs> I think we might be hitting about 55. Um, but hey, I'm on the shirt, so I'm okay with that. No sweater. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's great. And uh, Mirabelle's here as well. Hi, Mirabelle. Oh, good. I'm just um, letting people to jump in and chat. So, um, Hi. how are you? I'm great. How are you? Great, too. This is like a sassy reunion almost. And John's <laughs> here. And John. So, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just opening it up. Um, so, John's already enrolled in the course. Um, he's actually one of our VIP clients. So, we've been working with him directly, which has been a lot of fun. And doing some hands-on WordPress training for his blog um, directly on site, so he knows what blogging looks like on WordPress prior to um, Wednesday when the class goes live. So and, uh, I was just checking; we have uh, 17 people, I think, already enrolled. So that's very exciting um, for this. So yeah, yeah. So the whole idea of today was for, for me to sort of tell people a little bit over you about what the class is, and then answer any questions that people might have. And, um, and that, so if that sounds okay, I will, um, I will do that. I just, for a second, I've lost my mouse. Oh, there it is. It's back. I'm going to share my screen, bring it over to here. Um, okay. So you should be able to, hi, Jane, you should be able to see my screen. Um, so this is our main website. <clears throat> it's just a bit of a lesson that when, when people arrive at your website, you know, what is it that they see to begin with? I, I've got mine overly full screen right now, so it's, it's looking a little big, but typically I don't have my head chopped off. Um, oh, I'm making it bigger now. There we go. One second. There we go. That's what it should look like. And we always find with, with websites and uh, with blogs and everything, the whole idea behind a blog is to position us as the go-to expert. And then once they've heard of us, then how do they find us? So typically the blog is within a website, and um, quite often it's shared across social media, so it may be rewritten as a, a, as a LinkedIn article, or it may well be a link to our website through social media. It could be a, a video, it could be a picture on Pinterest. There's many different ways of actually positioning the blog to get found. But then when people arrive, sometimes they'll arrive directly onto the blog, sometimes they'll arrive on your homepage. And it's really important when people arrive on your homepage that they get it. They tell us in internet terms now that. Um, People make a decision about a website within 0.3 of a second, would you believe? So they've got to arrive, they've got to get a good feeling, almost subconsciously, that they're in the right place. So this, for instance, this is my website, you know, and there's a picture of me smiling and it's like, we get it, you know, straight out of the gate, we get it. So you would hope that people say, okay, I hope you get me. And then the, the biggest thing that we found that people need is that they know they're supposed to be on social media, they know they're supposed to be posting regularly, but they get stuck at that point. So what we've tried to do is create a, a piece to match the pain point, which is our social media jumpstart guide, which literally is a series of posts that work ideally on the top eight social media platforms. And that's 
that's what we give people here and it's between Twitter, Google Plus and so on. And that's a free download. It's an ebook, uh, PDF kind of thing. And this gets us hundreds of new emails every single month. I don't promote it in, in any paid fashion. Um, but that's what it is. And when, when people, okay, um, I'm not sure what happened there. But when people come with you, it's kind of like they go on a journey. So uh, when somebody hears about you, they might arrive on your homepage. And then what happens? Um, you, know, you hope in this sort of social media world where everybody scrolls down, that people scroll down. So what we try and do is we, we scroll down the different courses that we offer. So um, VIP Platinum is our premium call, uh, course where we do everything for people all at, all at once. VIP Group, which John's in, is um, where well, we work together as a group for four months and bring that through. And then our next course is, is the one that's coming up. It's called Power Content. And typically, you know, when, when we want them to learn more, it's literally one click. And then this goes to what's called a landing page. So you'll notice here that um, I'm in WordPress, so I've already got this black line across. So I'm, I'm already accessing my WordPress site. And literally then we just take people through what well, this is, this is the, what's called the hero image uh, in WordPress. And this would be like your H1 title tag, which is um, content marketing blogging course. So sometimes it's called a slug, meta description, H1 tag, lots of different ways that you can call that title. And during the course, we explain all of this and exactly how a, you know, a landing page and a blog is, is created. This coming up with great content doesn't need to be a full-time job. That's, that's really the solution because a lot of people think, they don't have time, and if they did have time, it would take too long. So that's what we call a H2 tag, which is typically the, the line that Google reads. And then we have a subtitle, uh, which hopefully matches the point of pain. And then we've learned um, from Lisa Sasevich, she has this program called PSPS, which is Problem Solution, Problem Solution. So we, we, we know what the problem is and that people don't have enough time. We know they struggle with finding the right ideas, getting stuck in the technical, and then who do they go to support? Who do they know that's going to say to them, that's a good article or that's not a good article? And you know, who's going to motivate them to keep writing one or two? Because invariably people buy a new website, they might start off with great enthusiasm, write three blogs, and then suddenly they stop. And I see that a lot. I've seen websites, you know, great blogs, and then they stop. And you know, I'm guilty of that too. So um, it, there's no shame game. And then Obviously, Lee, Lee and Terry Ann, his wife, did the course last year and found it enormously useful. And then we literally go through, imagine a group where you can learn and get supported. And Susan Elford, who was on our course last time, she said to me, this is the only class that I've ever been on that just by showing up, you're guaranteed success. Um, and that's, that doesn't mean to say we do it for you, but the accountability within the group and our willingness to sort of really go the extra mile and help people come up with the right titles, the right keywords, the right images, it's all part of the group. And then this is Lindsay, and it's a video that Lindsay and I created together. Because um, a lot of people now, when they arrive on a website, they don't want to read anymore. They want to just get fed. And that's where video blogging has come along, and you might have heard the word vlog. And we, we teach this a lot because what people need to do is ideally get to know you sort of digitally looking you in the eye. This is how business relationships are now done. I mean, face-to-face -face is the best, but like I'm not gonna be down in Santa Monica anytime this week, but I can talk to Catherine, you know, through a Zoom call, it, almost as if we're together. So video is key, and quite often a lot of people now, they find it easier to talk than type, and that's okay. So what typically we might do is set up a, a video on a, a selfie stick, or um, just hold it, you could do it on your desktop. And we literally speak the content into a program. And pretty much word for word is what you would say in a blog anyway. And then we already have that video made. We might add um, a trailer to the beginning and a footer at the end to just make it you know, nice and unique. And then what we would typically do then is, is put that video on YouTube, get it an embed code. We send that embed code to a transcription agency and get the script back. So at this point, we might have 400 words, which is the ideal blog length already typed out through a transcription service in a Word document. So we have a video, and we have a Word document. Then the magic comes of bringing that Word document into WordPress, which is a platform we recommend, and then splitting it up into paragraphs more so, finding the right header tags, finding the right keywords, bolding certain pieces of text, finding images about every hundred, and probably every other paragraph to break it up, 
and then that's the blog. It's done. And you hardly have to type anything, but it's just some tweaking. So we try and make blogging as, as, as easy as possible. And then what we also like to do is try and use real-time examples. So we don't just um, talk hypothetically. What we found works really well is when you're showcasing your services to your B2B or B2C consumer, is that you give examples of how this works in real life. So it could be how you put in a kitchen cabinet. I mean, a company might make the kitchen cabinets and sell them installed, but there will be people who wanna know how the kitchen cabinet is made. You know, is it glued together with press board or is it dovetailed? plywood is, is the nails as well as glue and, and all the background that goes into what goes into what it is you do you share that so people get a deeper appreciation of what it is that you do that deeper appreciation also increases your price because the more they understand you and your process the more they're willing to invest in it because we'd like to make these blogs so enticing that at the end of the blog the mindset is oh my gosh i just found a mother load this is exactly who i need to be working with how can I get in touch with them? So you then look at that call to action towards the end of the blog. It's like, if you'd like to learn more, you can apply for a free strategy session. Here's a link to our calendar. If you'd like to learn more, here's the next course coming up and it goes to the landing page. If you'd like to share this on social media, here's the social shares. Or if you'd like to find out more, click here and we have a little custom gravity form or something that they can fill that in and send it to us. So that's, that's really what we talk about. And you can just see these what we call long form landing pages, gives examples of um, what we do in them. Let me just tell you a little bit more about the course outline and I'll answer any questions. Um, we teach this over 10 weeks, and I say we predominantly Lindsay because she's the one with a degree in journalism and she's the one that builds all of my websites and gets the content out of our clients anyway, so that's awesome. Um, so what we do is we, we have um, six actual WordPress classes, if you like, that we teach. We also bring in podcasting, Pinterest, and uh, creating graphics. So there's about nine classes altogether. And then every week that we teach a class, we also host what's uh, a live Q&A, which we call virtual coffee, which, perfect segue, pick up coffee, is where people join us um, at 10 o'clock each Thursday morning. Um, so the classes are on Wednesdays at 10 a.m. And then each Thursday at 10 a.m., uh, we have the next day, um, a live Q&A with me and Lindsay. So you can specifically ask any questions live. Not everybody can make it live, so we give you also um, a private Facebook group, which is right here. And out of this, um, you can ask any questions and then we come up with a lot of extra material to help you be inspired during the week that's only available through this closed Facebook group. So why it's closed does that mean people can find it, um, but they can't join it without permission. And obviously you can't join it without paying for the course. So that way there's a premium to the, to the value of the Facebook group that comes in. And then from that, um, we help you come up with the blog topics that we think you should write. And typically they are the questions that you find yourself answering again and again and again. So if someone says, you know, if I had a dollar for every time, you know, that's a blog post. The other thing we find too is that so many people, you know, you, you'll know the scenario where they say, Oh, I'd love to meet you for coffee. With respect, what that normally means is, I'd love to pick your brain for free. And if you have time and inclination, that's fine. If you're early on in your business, you should do that. But as you get busier and your time is more of a premium, then this is where the blog can really come in. Because I, I honestly, when I meet people and they say, I'd love to meet you for coffee, I said, if you don't mind, um, I have a very busy schedule for the next couple of weeks and I, and I don't want to miss the opportunity of helping you. If we were met for coffee, what, was it, what would be the greatest outcome of, of you and I meeting that you could take away? Well, I really wanted to talk to you about how I, how I file my nails so that I don't get sharp edges, just being hypothetical. And if I was a nail tech, I would say, that is a really great question. And you know, I've been asked that many times, and it's something that we do every day in our salon. So I can't meet you for coffee this week, but here's what I can do. I'm gonna record a video on how we do sharp no sharp edge nails, hypothetically. And I'm gonna write a procedure about how we do it. And I'm gonna, it's okay, I'm gonna send you that blog. And then have a read it. If there's any further questions, just give me a call, we'll jump on Skype, and, you know, we'll, we'll answer that together. But that's probably the, my best way of serving you. And that's a, it's gonna serve a lot of other people because I've been asked that question many times. And they say, okay, great. 
So you haven't bummed them off that you're not meeting them for coffee. You're now creating an additional resource that will really help other people. And you've developed this relationship, so you're in communication with this person. You email them the blog, they read it, they might reply back. And that way, there's a much stronger likelihood of closing that sales process really tight rather than driving half an hour to a coffee shop, spending 45 minutes probably buying them coffee, and then driving half an hour back. That's probably half your day gone, and they may or may not you know, want to buy from you. So you'll know if they're committed, if they read the blog and follow through with you. You're creating a resource, and you're saving yourself three hours, multiple times. So that's a great use of a blog. The other way is to make that video, too. So it could well be that you jump, jump in a car, you just had a meeting with somebody, you suddenly jump on your phone, you create a, a video which could be notes from the meeting, it could be an idea that you just had. I was walking the track yesterday and I'm listening to a Zoom call from a client of ours last week that I didn't take, Lindsay took, and this lady wants a new website. And as I'm walking around the track, suddenly I got the blindingly genius idea of how we could do her strategy. So I stopped, I turned on my video, I made myself a little video about how we can help this lady's, um, oh my goodness. Um, from that, I, um, I recorded it. This morning we had this strategy call. I already had this video of what I wanted. The deal was closed and I hadn't had to do it. I hadn't had to meet her at all. In fact, I couldn't have done it because she's in, in uh, Florida. But um, that's a kind of great use of video that's either good for blogging or good for ideas. And then those ideas invariably turn into the blogs that people want. And um, you know, from that, that's how we teach it. We bring people in, we have a small group mentality in the Zoom. So it's like this, but rather than webinar, it's a typical Zoom where people join in with their websites. We get people to submit some ideas ahead of each week so we can start working on them. Once that Word document is put together, then Lindsay jumps right in, and she'll literally help you split it up into the right paragraphs, help you find the right titles, help you find the right keywords for categories. We work on um, images, and sometimes images are harder to find these days because of so much privacy issues with them. Um, royalties. So we, we have a specific class on how to find royalty-free images, how to label them so that they become yours. Because what happens is you, you find an image or you take a photograph and maybe the photograph is DSC 5051. And you suddenly get this picture from your phone, you put it into your website. When Google comes along, and this is called the alt tag ALT, and it sees that picture, if Google reads that picture as DSC 5051, there's probably a, a billion of those pictures. Plus, it doesn't help people who can't see. Because the reason we have alt tags in the blog is that so Google can then translate the description of the image to somebody who can't see like we can. So little techniques like that we teach all along the way. The meta description is the line of the blog that isn't on the blog. But when you look on the Google search screen, it's those two lines, 130 characters, that describes the article on, on web search, so we, we put that into it. But most of all, we have a ton of fun. Um, everybody sort of gets what they need out of it. We can create up to 10 blogs within those 10 weeks. We talk about video journalism, we talk about podcasting, we talk about um, email marketing, we talk about creating graphics. So we, it's not just this is how you write a blog. This is a course which is like, let's write some blogs together and let's make them go to work for you to get you more business. So one lady in, in the last class, her name was Susan, I talked about this on the masterclass. Um, she wrote a blog about a deflating Santa Claus. Her husband bought this inflatable Santa Claus that they put outside the house at Christmas time. And the 16 year old daughter absolutely hated it. She was embarrassed about this big inflatable Santa outside the house. So when she walked home from school, she would unplug Santa and it would deflate. Dad would come home and he'd plug in Santa and it would reflate. And it was like, Dad, don't. She was embarrassed. So Susan wrote this blog about, um, and she's a productivity coach. She works with female um, entrepreneurs predominantly. And she said, do you have family consensus around your Christmas decorations? Because we just hit a road bump in ours. And she had this whole scenario about, do you ask your kids, should you have an inflatable Santa or not? Anyway, that topic really doesn't matter. It was the fact that she created a video around this. She wrote a blog about this. She had a picture of the inflatable Santa. And she shared that on her social media. She got a ton of engagement around this. What was super important was that one of the ladies who engaged with her was a friend of hers, and they hadn't really communicated for probably a number of years. But because this blog was really active on social media, it got her in front of a lot more people, which is so important 
it's very difficult with social media now to get that sort of live eyeballs without paying for it. This lady went, oh my gosh, Susan, I'd almost forgotten what it was that you did. My company is looking for a, a keynote for our next staff conference. And this article just totally made me think about the dynamics of humans coming together. We think you'd be a great keynote speaker. Would you be available on whatever the date was, three weeks or so later? She was. Uh, she got a gig. I, I won't tell you the amount of money, but it was almost four times the price of the blogging course. That gives you an idea. And um, she got a gig out of one blog that she wrote on a website, shared it on social media, a friend saw her on social media, picked up the phone, deal was done. So that's what we like to teach is, is how to write a blog that makes you visible, that gives you higher exposure, and actually, in turn, positions you as a local expert that could help you close the sale and, and get more income. That's the course. Uh, it starts this Wednesday, Wednesday the 11th, at 10 a.m. It runs for 10 weeks. Each week is recorded live, just like this, and it goes into our academy where you have private access to all of the resources that we put together and you can access that. We also share the videos within the Facebook group, so if you just wanna rewatch it you know, while you're on Facebook, you can do that too, but only in a closed group so nobody else can, can see it. And um, my creative comes into it, Lindsay's strategy and teaching comes into it, and between the two of us, um, we go on a journey for 10 weeks and we have a lot of fun. So that's it in a nutshell, but I'm here to answer any questions that you might have. I'm gonna unmute everybody. Uh, so um, I can do that and I can do that. Okay, so you're unmuted. The only person I can't unmute is Jane. Uh, it says, I can't unmute Jane because you're using an older version of, Root of Zoom. You need to promote Jane McKay to a panelist be able to talk. So maybe Jane, you could just chat mm -hmm. in the chat box, but Jane's bought the course already, so she, she's in with us already, and that's that's awesome. Um, Patty is, oh, Patty from Clay Construction, yay! Patty's in the course as well, she's one of our VIP clients. So, um, of all the people in the room, Catherine, I hope you don't feel a little out of it here, but I think you're the only person that hasn't enrolled yet. <laughs> so, um, no pressure. But uh, yeah, some people have, have, have come along here to sort of see what it is that, that they're getting into on Wednesday, and other people are here to just find out. So. Anybody has any questions about what the course looks like that you're in or what you'd like to know more about the course, then let me know and um, I can answer that. Well, Jonathan, I don't have a question um, so much as I just was really curious because I am working on my website right now yeah. and I've been one of the those <clears throat> lollygaggers that has, you know, when I first got it up, I was doing all kinds of blogs and I've been kind of walking away from it. But I, I am so, I was almost a confirmation of the direction that I'm hearing is that video is really the way to go and to really put some, uh, some exciting stories on, you know, together for, for my potential clients. And also um, I've looked at your materials before about the, you know, uh, what to, how to, uh, create forms and you know keep people really um, feed them a little bit and just keep them engaged with you yes. and I, I find you to be so engaging I just couldn't stay away and um, I don't I don't think I need to learn how to blog or learn how to do all that it was it's almost like my question is because things change so fast like what's the best way right now you know yeah, yeah. Was, yeah great question yeah, because I mean, you, you talk to Lisa and it's one way, or Lisa Cherney, it's another way. Lisa, you talk to all these people. Tom Antion has a different way. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've been going to all different people. And yes. um, so, and also, I just um, was, because I really want to be impactful, I've, I've really got a big message going. Yes, you do. So, so your, web, so, I'm just looking, your web activity, your website is profitivity. Profitivity. Inc.com. Inc.com. Right? Uh huh. Yes. So and I. So I just yeah. it on Facebook. So when I, I'm gonna um, let me just share a screen for a second, then I'll just if I, if I may, I'll um, just do a little sort of jump onto your website. Um, oh God. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Help, knock yourself out, but just <laughs> no judgment, anybody. <laughs> so this is this is your website, right? Yes. Okay. So just just while I'm here, um, you can see obviously. You've got lots of space either side of 
I'll well, what happened was, okay, here's a story. I just changed um, from Constant Contact, where I had um, some, of the, some of the library of images were from Constant Contact, so they, they disappeared. Okay. <laughs> and that's why there's a blank pages. But, um, um, gotcha. So gotcha. That's what's go going on. But the blogs are in there. There's quite oh, a few. Because what, what I love to do, you see how this is a stock image? Yes. So there could be a hundred different websites with that image. Um, right. So what we always try and do is what makes you different? Um, so at that point, I mean, we've got a video here, which is you, which should make you different. Um, yeah. There we go. I would definitely make it bigger because um, it's quite small, but these stock images, and obviously some of them are blank right now. Um, yeah. Getting images that are unique to you, you know, is so key. Um, yeah. And then obviously I'm, I'm guessing like these are your blogs here, right? As we go down. Yes. Yeah. Cause this is a beautiful thing. Cause you have a link to your blog on the homepage. So what this does is every time you write a new blog, mm -hmm. um, Google, every time it comes back to look at the homepage of your website and there's new content, it will re index you. Whereas if it keeps coming back to your website and nothing changes, it kind of gets bored and looks to somebody else to sort of feature. So, it's always, always about positioning you as um, the industry leader. So it says here, so I can see November 29, 20, 2016. Uh, and it says it's by Web Missy. So I don't know who Web Missy is. It might be a VA of yours or, or I'm not sure. Um, That's, you know what? It's Bridget Callahan. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love her. Yeah. How's that for a name? <laughs> that is great. Okay. So she was writing for you. That's awesome. But typically, Catherine, I, I mean, you may work as a team or whether, um, I'm sure you do as many different ways, but ideally, um, what we like to try and do, and I'll go into this blog, uh, your goal is a, your mind is a goal machine. So straight out the gate, we've got a, a title, I said, okay. Um, and then we said, do you know your, goal, your mind is a goal machine, question mark. But can you see there's no image? So we're ready. Oh, uh, there was one. There actually was one. Okay. Um, I don't know what, there it is. Okay. So right at the top, I need an image that just <laughs> brings me in, if you like. And then quite often, this is where we also would put a video at the top. Um, the other thing that we often do is we create what's called um, an author box. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, if I go to my blog, and um, just let me wait a while where it opens. Um, so let me just... Find, it, find a blog here. So this is a blog that, um, that I wrote. And you can see right at the bottom, we have, I hope, this box here. And this yes. is what's called, a, it's called, in website terms, it's called a Starbucks. It's a, it's a plugin from WordPress. So that way, whoever's written the blog, you have a little description and a photograph about who they are. And it just makes that blog a little bit more personal. So that's one thing that you could do with your blog is, because oh, I don't know who Web Missy is, and at this point, I still don't know. Right. The other too, is at the end of this blog, I might think this is so good, I want to share it with my tribe. Yeah. That's where um, having a social share plugin is a really good idea. So again, if you look at my blog, I can automatically put it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, whatever. It's mm -hmm. super easy for me to share because it's right here. I can also look at this guy and see what other posts that person's written recently. Um, so that way, when you have different teams writing, you can see other posts that that person has, has written. Um, so you can just see the comparison of uh, image. Yes, it's beautiful. And, and like even my, I've coded my header tag so that my H3 tag is actually a different color than my H2, just to okay. make them pop out. And um, this is the little quotes. So it just it breaks it up and it just makes it a little bit more readable. And then right. images really helps people to sort of go through and find it, makes it easy to share on social media, and that can go. The other thing too is when I click blog on your website, mm -hmm. and this is what comes up. So oh. I'm not sure if that's meant to be, I'm guessing not. No, uh, no, it, so, that's a mistake, so uh, yes, thank you. Hey, you know what? <laughs> we just helped you fix it, so that's awesome. Oh yeah, um, it's, it's yeah, my the, top priority. The other thing too is you see how your blogs here None of them have got what's called a featured image. So, yes. So again, if you go back to my homepage, and um, when you go down, and you'll see that you'll see my blogs eventually pop up. 
Each mm -hmm. one of them has got this, which is a featured image. And it's really, I mean, that already, so some of the eight great stories, you know, it's nice and big. People would just click just because of the title. This, right. was, um, this was the story about the snow. So those kind of things, it's, it's eye candy to bring people deeper. We're always trying to get them to go, the whole idea of a page one, a website, is to get them to go to page two, page three, page four. Great. And oh. the longer they spend on the website, the more they're going to get to know you, the more likelihood is they'll fill in a form or ask for a strategy session or something like that to go deeper. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of thing that you know, I like to teach. Um, I just created a new website for myself, mm -hmm. which is around my speaking rather than just our agency. And again, when, when you go to those blogs, um, I'm going to bring them up. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, see the featured images are right there. Yes, so yes. It's, just, it's, like, it's enough eye candy for someone to say, oh, what's that about? You know, and when you get to the blog, um, this is a different format than my other site. But again, and I even play around with different sizes of featured images on this site. And at the same time as I've got, blog, uh, I've got um, blogs, I've also got that wonderful call to action. So a video about me, interested in finding out about me, a little bit more about me, I think that white font needs to be black. I'll change that because it's a new site. Um, but the blog needs to be very enticing to bring them in. Yes. Uh, that's what uh, you, could, you could do quite a bit more. Uh, yeah. to really, really bring people in. Obviously, fix that, fix that link. I will. <laughs> You're so welcome, my friend. So I'm caught, I got caught with my knickers down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, no shame. I mean, we're all friends here. This is I like, know. I know. I Thank, thank you so life. much. You helped me. So, 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 so much. Anytime at all. That's what we like to do. And, um, you know, that's the purpose of a Facebook page is to mm -hmm. keep giving out nuggets of wisdom that give mm -hmm. people enough reason to come back to your Facebook page. That's yeah. not really where the business gets done. It's a gateway to a conversation. So what I explain to people like for social media, think of you've got your personal Facebook page, obviously, which, you know, with our friends and family and everything happens on our traveling. But then we want to do business on our business page or, you know, fan page, if you like, where the likes are. But realistically, think of that Facebook page as like a pool party. And so people arrive at your house, <laughs> they may not know you very well, but it's an open invite to the neighborhood and everybody's standing around the pool. And those conversations are happening all around the pool. And that's what your business page does. It has those conversations with different people all around the world, all around the clock. If someone wants to do business with you at the party and say, hey, I, Catherine, I'd love to talk to you about you know, how you generate productivity within a leadership um, group. Oh, great, Jonathan, why don't we just go inside, let's sit on my study, and let's talk about that. So effectively, by you physically taking me into your study, it's the same as you writing a blog. So it's like, oh, you want to know more about how I do productivity? Read this blog, because you don't get to meet everybody, but from the Facebook page to the blog, it's like going from the pool to the study. They read that blog and at the end of it, they say, so do you think I could help your company? Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Why don't we, have, why don't we book a strategy session and let's do that formally? It's the same as at the end of the blog, if this was helpful for you, you know, fill in this form and let's have a conversation. So each piece of content is hopefully driving somebody deeper and closer to yes. doing business. And that's the same whether you're in construction, like with Jane, she makes beautiful glassware for prom prom promotional products. Um, mm -hmm. John's in the construction industry when in their in industry, they're probably the best kept secret when it comes to commercial building. So what we're doing with their website and their blog is to showcase those stories so that people can actually really understand what, and most people have no idea how good their company is until they start reading the blog and seeing the pictures on the website. It's like, oh my gosh, where were you guys? I needed you. So next time around when they're ready to build, they're already keeping that company top of mind. And, um, like Paddy's with a company called Clay Construction. They're probably one of the best builders in the, in the Fraser Valley, Vancouver area of British Columbia because of the attention to detail. Larry used to be a teacher. He now is a construction uh, genius. He, he spends a lot of time on different boards, setting the bar so much higher for building standards and building construction so that he is the go-to educator. So if he's a go-to educator, do you not think that his website would be full of educational pieces? And yes, it is. So when people find Clay Construction, they go to the website, they find the blogs, they read what it is that his attention to detail, suddenly that becomes the go-to person for building their next custom home, which may not be today. Because just because we're ready to sell 
doesn't mean to say that people are ready to buy. And that's again, where the blog can really come in because even though you've written it once, doesn't mean to say you can only share it once. You can share this blog multiple times per month, multiple times per year, and they become what we call evergreen blogs. Mm -hmm. So what we try and do is we try and get those people to um, have that blog repurposed across LinkedIn, across social media, across the website. And it might well be that in three months time, you go back to that self same blog and you look at your Google analytic traffic and you just see how many times it's being picked up. And if it's not getting picked up, then go back and change the meta description, go back and change the title, go back and change one of the featured images and re and, and, and have another go again. It's not that it's done once and never touched again. These are all working, working documents. And that's a way of just writing it once, but repurposing it multiple times to get you the exposure that you need to get the leads that people could jump in and, um, and, and start to have that conversation around hiring you. And that's a philosophy that we bring to what we call content marketing. And specifically the blog is the hub of that content marketing strategy. And um, we, we teach people specifically how to, how to use that and leverage that to get more business. That's what it's really about. That's so great. Thank you so much. Um, I do have a question about, Speaking, so I, what I heard you say is you are creating a different website for your speaking. And you know, I'm my this website that you were looking at used to just be my kind of brochure. You know, it had all everything in the kitchen sink on it. Um, should I create a different website just for speaking? And and when you have speaking topics, do you also make each one of those into a featured image? Great question. I'm sure everybody would be interested in that too. So. This is my main website and this is our agency. We make stuff happen and it's not, it's not just me anymore. It was in 2012. Now mm -hmm. it's, you know, if we go to move the toolbar out of the way, if you go to our website now and you go to just, just to give you a description, we call it a tribe rather than a team just because mm -hmm. it's more of a, a family unit. And this, this shows you everybody that works with me um, from SEO to graphic design, to sales training, to done for you, social media, Google AdWords, this, Infusionsoft, this is my team. Um, mm -hmm. so this page alone shows people you know, what it is, but there's me, you know, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm part of that tribe. So on, on the homepage, um, because it's my company, I created it, obviously it's my image. And once you've gone through the different courses of, of what we offer, um, different examples of the type of clients, different testimonies, suddenly bah, there is this big pictographic all about me. Uh, and it says book Jonathan to speak and that it'll flip to find out more about Jonathan. You can just see from these images alone, the type of things that I do. And I can't help but smile because I love my life, right? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> so at this point, we want to go deeper again. So it could be about Catherine, about Larry, about John, mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. Jane. Um, we go deeper and suddenly there's that image again. It's like, oh my gosh, look at all these people he's working with. Some of these people are fairly famous within the industries and you get an image I and mean, I haven't said a word yet, you know, but you get an image of what it is that I do. Then I get to my bio and so on and so forth and my story. Then I get to video and then I get, you know, what really works for our clients, which is programs and book me to speak. At this point, up until very recently, I would send them to another internal page, which is this landing page again, which is a picture of me speaking a couple of videos, a bit more detail about me and my media kit. Standalone, that is totally fine. Ultimately, one day, I may sell my company. I'm not planning on it any time in the next two decades, but I might. And if all of my intellectual property is within my company and I want to be a standalone speaker, it's pretty difficult. So I decided to create um, my own brand, which I own anyway, my own name, and just definitely create this into a different website, but it's just for speaking. So for SEO, it's great on my other side, but now it's, it's totally different. And for me, what I've tried to do is, um, I have an about Jonathan page, so it could be an about Catherine page. And this is very much around who I am as an individual. So it's totally all about me, this site, in, in a humble way. And then I say to people, you know, I do keynotes, I do live workshops, and I do joint ventures. So I just spoke in San Diego on Saturday, um, with a, a lady called Helen Chang. We had an amazing time together. And so, and, and I sold a program that she got a commission out of. So that, that's what we would call a joint venture. I've done one with this guy in, in Florida. So I'll document that. Some people might want to hire me to do a live workshop. So again, here's my live workshop. 
photographs of the workshops that, I, that I've hosted recently. Um, somebody might want to book me to be a keynote. So again, here is a picture of me with Lisa, the, the keynote that I did for Honeywell, and quite a good description of the type of things you know, that I do. And so I've got video, I've got great big images, I've got nice text, and then I've got a blog that really talks about, and, and I'll expand into this more as the year goes on, about around you know, what difference me speaking to an audience can make to the, to the listeners. And that's you know, the reason that I separated the two. Um, so you should yeah. own cashandega.com, I'm sure you do. And it may well be that just for SEO alone, you have that as a separate site, just so you're featured as, a, as an individual, and then you have your productivity, Inc., which is your company, and how that might, um, sort of, from a more B2B corporate side of things, how you as an entity, rather than an individual, can serve your audience. Oh my God, you, this is fantastic. Oh my God. That's what I do. I yeah, you are just a blessing. You really are. I'm, is, glad, I'm glad I can help. I'm glad I can and help. you answered, you know, I think I've been agonizing over this for months. <laughs> wow. There you go. So, no, you've really been a blessing to me. Thank you so much, uh, Jonathan. Mar Mirabelle's in the group. If, I mean, Mirabelle has helped me no end with my strategy around launching, say, core cool content, power content. Launch yeah. Account, because that's all she does now is help people launch. And as much as I know I have great product, doesn't mean to say I'm very good at selling it to people that don't know me. Because yeah. I know I can sell to people that I know, but if someone's never heard of me, then how are they going to find me? And that's right. one of the reasons, you know, the SEO piece comes in. But there's a strategy around the masterclass, which is free, the live Q&A, which helps people decide if they want to join it the email stream that comes with that, giving people the last opportunity to join. That's a strategy in its own right before the blog, whereas the blogs literally take people deeper into what it is that you do. When you put all these pieces together, that's how you grow the business. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, blown well, away. And then we have a family and we sleep and eat and have fun as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. And find some balance. So, yeah. Beautiful. Great questions. Anybody else have some questions? I'm always a long answer to a question, but I figure that somebody else wants to know, and this is a recording, other people will get a chance to sort of listen to this as well, and it'll be a beneficial help to them too, just like the blog could be beneficial to a lot of other people. Either raise your hand or put a question in the chat box, and I can answer that, or I could bring you on live, and um, we can do that. Maybe not. Maybe I just answered it. As I say, most people are already in the class, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any questions right now. Um, we have officially the early bird quote, um, the early bird coupon codes have, have expired, so that they're, they're not alive anymore, but I did have a significant discount for people who joined early. Um, so if you're interested in joining the class, I will still honor a price break, but it, it can't be through a shopping cart because those carts have gone. Um, but I, I can do it. I have a back door because it's my system. Uh, so if someone's interested in joining at the early bird price, because we still have a couple of seats left and I love to help people, I will honor those. But you just need to message me uh, either through here or through Facebook or phone or text or whatever, smoke signal, and I can send you a link that would help you, uh, that would help you get into that. Uh, yeah. Um, starts on Wednesday. Each class is an hour long. They're always in Pacific time. So 10 a.m. Wednesdays and 10 a.m. Thursdays per week. Private Facebook group for other questions. Even if you can't make it live, you can ask the question in the group. We'll answer it live and you can pick it up on the next video. With people in the class from Australia, from England, from the United States, Canada, obviously, Hawaii. I guess that is the United States. Um, so yeah. Quite a, quite a demographic of time zones. Um, one lady's 18 hours ahead of us, one lady's three hours behind us. Um, so it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, well, um, if there's any other questions, I'm here to answer them. If not, I hope that helped. Um, I'm sure it did. Catherine, for you, would love to help you, my friend. Um, yeah. I'm not seeing any other questions, so if, if there's nothing else, I'll wrap this up. I'll put the video out.
that people register for the email. It will help them make a decision. And we start Wednesday, so if anybody else wants to join us, uh, we'd love to have you. We still have a couple of seats left that we can we can select you into. And um, if you're already in the class, I look forward immensely to seeing you on Wednesday and in the Facebook group. And buckle up and get ready for an incredible journey because we're going to have a lot of fun. And by the end of those 10 weeks, I can pretty much guarantee you will be in a much better place and business will be finding you rather than you finding them. Because remember this, if I call you, I'm a salesman. But if you call me, I'm an expert. And the whole idea of this course is to position you as a local expert that people seek out rather than you trying to cold call. And that is a whole different paradigm when it comes to selling. So on that topic, I will, uh, thanks Patty. Um, really excited to uh, see you in the group on Wednesday. Um, thanks everybody. I'll say goodbye for now. And we'll see you again real soon. Okay, bye.